Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 57. This week I'm going to be talking about how you can use a mobile phone or a tablet as a sensor for the camera axe. Now this wasn't an idea I came up with entirely on my own, so I you know, want to give a little bit of history on where the idea came from and make sure that I uh, give credit where credit is due. So it all started a few years ago when uh, a device called the Trigger Trap was on Kickstarter. It was supposed to be a pretty close competitor to the Camera Axe, so I actually funded that project so I could do a review of the uh, Trigger Trap versus the Camera Axe. Now, when I got the product uh, many months later, the uh, Trigger Trap V1, as it was called, uh, you know, was a really close competitor to the Camera Axe, and you know, overall, I, I didn't want to do this review where you know I'm pretty biased, being that I know the Camera Axe very well and I didn't know the trigger trap as well so you know instead of you know having a, an, an unfair review and a very biased review I ended up just not doing that review and uh, you know kind of hadn't thought about it too much but from that point forward I was sort of watching what the trigger trap was doing in the market and a little bit after the V1 they came up with what I thought was a much more original and sort of unique product uh, it was called the trigger trap mobile now the idea of the Trigger Trap Mobile was that it was just this really small dongle that uh, plugs in to either an Android or an iPhone and uh, then you can actually trigger your camera from the phone. So you could use you know any sensor that's on the phone to trigger the camera. So you could have, you know, there's an accelerometer, there's gyroscopes, there's all sorts of intervalometer things you can do with the clock on here. There's uh, the GPS, and, and perhaps most interesting to me was the uh, camera. So uh, I thought, you know, you could like detect motion with the uh, phone and uh, then trigger the camera. That would be a pretty cool uh, way of doing things. We talked a little bit about uh, various camera sensors I might do for the camera axe, but I've never gotten around to that. It's a pretty complicated project. Um, so instead of a, a dedicated camera sensor, maybe I could use a mobile phone as the camera sensor. So, in, so what uh, basically came out of this was after a while of the Trigger Trap mobile being around, I was like, well, I could actually use the Trigger Trap software as a start to uh, sort of trigger the camera axe and sort of see how that works. So I looked into that a little bit more and I, I talked to the people at Trigger Trap and I told them that I was going to do this and you know that their application is free so that that you know costs me nothing to try and uh, I ended up trying and it actually works out great the camera axe can sort of replace the trigger trap dongle now the problem is I don't really want to you know take away their only source of revenue and and it really won't right the camera axe is much more expensive much more complicated uh, so it's it's not really going to do that but what I would suggest is if people think this is cool and they try it out with the camera axe and really like it you should really consider you know buying their dongle it's pretty cheap it, it, it's really a lot simpler to use than the camera axe um, it doesn't require batteries so there's a lot of benefits to the uh, trigger trap dongle and you know I think you should uh, you know fund projects that are useful and, and we're basically getting their software for free so maybe you should uh, fund their hardware projects anyways I'm now going to go into a little bit more detail on how exactly you go about connecting a mobile phone as a sensor to the camera axe. And uh, I'll be using the Trigger Trap mobile software to do that. First off, I want to talk a little bit about what I did with the camera axe. So the first thing I did was I just tried to use the advanced sensor menu to uh, trigger uh, off of the mobile phone. Uh, but I did run into a few problems. Uh, the first was that um, all the Trigger Trap software does is it just sends a, uh, a sound wave that doesn't send like a constant voltage. So that was actually triggering the camera axe many times instead of once constantly. And that didn't work really work the best. So I sort of wanted something that detected when there was a sound wave and held the signal high. And then when there was no sound, then hold the signal low. So I had to make a menu that did that. The other problem with this menu was that it only would detect when um, the ring on the 3.5 millimeter sensor cable 
was uh, sent high. And the way the trigger trap dongle works is it has, it, it uses both the ring and the tip. So the Camerax hardware supports that um, kind of sensing, but uh, the menu here didn't. So what I ended up doing was I made a new menu and I called it the dongle menu. Now I'll put a link to this in the show notes so people can go and grab this uh, beta version of the software, but there are no options on this menu. It's uh, just going to detect when there's a sound wave and then hold the signal high during that period. And it's gonna do that for both the uh, ring and for the tip of the uh, 3.5 millimeter cable. So it's a pretty simple menu. All you have to do is activate it and now the camera X is set up and basically when it detects um, that the uh, trigger trap mobile application wants to uh, trigger it, it will uh, activate both uh, camera and flash one or camera and flash two. So you could actually, you know, hook up two cameras and do maybe stereo or something with the camera X. Uh, so there's maybe a little bit more flexibility here than you'd get with the dongle but you know for the vast majority of the things the the dongle the that uh, ships from trigger trap would be probably uh better I, I don't have an example of it but it really is a really little tiny dongle and like i said it doesn't need batteries or anything so it's really pretty slick piece of hardware and uh now i'll sort of show the trigger track trip trigger trap application this is on android i was actually a little bit disappointed that a lot of the modes i was interested in seeing like some of the camera modes uh, they're not supported on android i really hope that they start adding support for more things on android because i'm a bit biased uh, towards android instead of the iphones it's my day job is is working on android but um basically we've got mostly uh just timing modes right now today um time lapse a bunch of other sort of star trail that would also be time lapse this wi-fi slave is kind of interesting because that i believe is you can actually do a wireless remote over wi-fi to trigger your camera which is kind of cool but um we'll just go to the you know very simple camera release mode um so you can control either the shutter or the uh, <clears throat> focus. What's going on here? Okay. And uh, then you just hit this button and uh, it activates the camera apps or the trigger track dongle if you're using that and uh, triggers the camera. So, uh, you know, that I mean, that's not an interesting mode. I won't go through all of the different modes that the uh, trigger trap has. You should definitely visit triggertrap.com to see all of the different modes that they have for Android and uh, iPhone. And I think it kind of proves this really interesting concept that really all you need to do is write an application for these mobile phones and then uh, make a sound with them and uh, you can use that to trigger a camera now. So I'd really be interested if people know other mobile applications that uh, will detect at maybe motion or something and then make a sound. I mean, that, that should be able to be used to uh, trigger the camera apps. And uh, hopefully the Trigger Trap mobile app will start adding some more interesting modes on the Android side because that would make it a lot more uh, interesting in my opinion. But uh, I'd like to thank Trigger Trap for writing this software and letting me use it in this demonstration today. I would also suggest people check out their dongle hardware. Thanks for watching.